Here are some tips when testing the column with steam and water. Since condensing steam can form a vacuum, we need to protect the column against excessive vacuum buildup. Open the vent to the column as a safeguard. Add enough water to the column to fill the bottom sump. Next, start the reboiler to create steam from the water in the sump. After the tower has fully heated, close the vent and start the condenser. Operate the column at total reflux until all checks are complete. If steam is added directly to the column already containing cold water, rapid condensation can occur, creating a vacuum inside the column. This practice should be avoided. During the test, ensure the water and steam rates are suitable for the column capacity. If the steam rate is too high, the trays or packing may become damaged. If the water rate is too high, liquid will accumulate in the column, potentially overloading the capacity and supports.